Welcome to Rust. Today, we're playing duo with my boy, Holy Naz Moly. Now, maybe that name doesn't ring a bell, or maybe it does. Maybe you know who I'm talking about, but you're like, ah, oh, it's on the tip of my tongue. Who is Holy Naz Moly? Well, he was a person I met in game playing Rust. I played a Grease Police wipe, and at the end of it, we did a massive raid, and Holy Naz Moly showed up, and uh, we just fell in love with the guy. He was just a really cool dude. And I said that if the video got enough likes, which obviously it did, is if I ask for likes, you guys provide. I don't know what to say. Maybe I need to do it more often. If it got enough likes, I'd play with Holy Naz Moly. So here we are, duo wipe on hardcore rust so if you guys don't know what hardcore rust is it removes the map i'm pressing g right now and no map is appearing it removes the team system there's no compass you only have five respawn points so if i were to make a bag right now it would be one of my five respawn points and i couldn't have more than that oh okay um i'm just getting rolled from 300 meters before i was so rudely interrupted there's no crawling there is no safe zones. That is probably one of the biggest ones. Yeah, Hardcore Rust is pretty hardcore. But the reason we're playing Hardcore Rust is because of an idea that I had. So because we can't use a map, you can't see where monuments are. You have to literally find them and use your brain to navigate and remember where you live and where monuments are. So we were going to use this to our advantage and buy a submarine as soon as possible and try and find an underwater lab before anyone else on the server and farm it for components. That's what our plan is, our main goal for the day. And we're playing on Restoria Hardcore. It just wiped, that's why there's only 25 players, but there's probably at least 50 by now since I started my intro. So yeah, uh, Holy Nazmoli is in the call. I'm gonna join. And we're gonna get this run underway. Naz. What up, dog? How's it going, man? Pretty good, bro. How you, how you been, man? Pretty good, man, pretty good. That's dope, bro. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm spawned in. I see, um, I saw a harbor, but now I'm next to train yard in the snow. Uh, I'm at a fishing village. There's lighthouse right next to it. Oil rig. Uh, I think it's small oil. Holy. Pretty nearby. I'll try and look for it. There's a big ass like snowy mountain kind of nearby here. Okay. I'm on top of a big ass snowy mountain. I mean, you might be heading towards the right direction. So like I said, because we were playing the new official hardcore mode, there was no in-game map. I had to find Naz just based off of what he saw around him. This could take a long time, but a lucky gunshot from a road scientist ended up being the perfect beacon for us to rally to. Oh, there's bow kids on me. I I'm at a mining outpost. I followed the road from, um... Was there uh, gunshots, like M9 shots? Uh, yeah. Because I'm, I'm right next to the mining outpost where the gunshots were. Oh shit, I'm in the mining outpost recycling right now. Okay, I'll come back. Are you up top with what with hoodie? Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is yep. me. Oh, say word. Word! <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I got a present for you, dog. Fuck yeah, man. Eat up, bro. There's oh, a horse shit. guy. Oh shit! I don't have a bow. Headshot him. Nice. Ah, he's gone. Naz led me to a nearby fishing village he saw with oil rig nearby. We needed a fishing village in order to purchase a submarine later on to find an underwater labs. But other than Lighthouse, this area didn't have any monuments for PvP, so we kept looking for another place to build. But running around without a base on wipe day can be dangerous. The longer we stayed out here looking for a base location, the higher the chances were that we'd get jumped. I guess we don't need, we just need to know where a fishing village is, because technically we only need it once. We just need it once and then a, and then a, a boat base. Exactly. You want to farm up some of these barrels and recycle real quick? Um, I can free up some space by recycling, sure. I'm going to keep the rope as well. Yeah. 200 scrap I got. Okay, let's get to the airfield tower and I want to take a look. Yep. Okay, we got gas station right after that satellite dish. That is an oil rig over there. I oh. see I see outpost in the desert. Oh. It like straight towards where you are. Like that is insane that direction. Yeah. Um let's build on the shore, like right nearby here. I'm down, dude. Let's fucking do it, dog. And I see small rig. I know exactly where we are. This is this yeah. is it, dude. This is where we build. 
Fuck yeah, dude. Yeah, this place is nuts. Looking around the map for a little bit longer paid off. With large rig, outpost, airfield, and a couple of extra tier 1 monuments to recycle and do key card puzzles at, this was easily one of the best places to build. This was only confirmed further when other people were taking interest in the location as well. He's on the right side, he has another door in there. Of course, yeah. hit him. Hit him. Dead. Nice. Headshot. Oh. Hit the other one. Oh, oh what? God. He literally faced through the door. What the fuck? Simply outplayed, dude. And there's a supermarket right there on top of it. Why are all the monuments right here? This is insane. Oh, yeah. This is a, this is a sick area. Yeah, dude. Yeah, this is like insane. Huge flat area right next to Outpost. This is going to be dope. Large oil is right there. I'm very happy that we chose this instead. Yeah, me too. Huge. Uh, I, I dropped the furnaces and shit. Oh, damn. Let's go. With our base fully tricked out with an airlock, furnaces, and a tier 1, we were ready to explore our area. Alright, can you grab your pickaxe and let's go hit some nodes. Ooh. Oh, 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 shit, Blue! You okay? This shit just spawned right in front of me, dude. The fuck? This shit just spawned right in front of me, dog. What? No, 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 no. <laughs> it wasn't there. I walked inside and I walked back out and it was just there, dude. Dude, dude that is insane. On our first quick farm run, just around our area, Naz already found a SAR at the nearby supermarkets. Because blueprints were freshly wiped, this was an excellent thing to find. He also farmed a bunch of ores to have smelting in our furnaces while we continued progressing. Uh, oh, 600 scrap, dude. You wanna do rig first or do you wanna... I kinda wanna do rig like after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, cause if we do rig first, we'll just kinda be too geared. Yeah, exactly. For it to even really make sense for us to go to underwater labs. Exactly. Can't believe you found that, dude. That is such a good find. Dude, what can I say, man? What are the goals for this wipe? Bes like, besides just finding the underwater labs and stuff? Pretty much just playing the game. I just want to see how effective, like, finding the underwater labs is. There's a guy building uh, one by one up this hill. I'm going to go see if I can kill him real quick. Oh, that's him. Wait, two satchels? Yeah, wow. Is someone actually fucking raiding right now? Honestly, those satchels are from an airdrop and someone's raiding a wood base. That's what's happening. Oh, like, I yeah. saw the airdrop earlier. I did, I did too. Honestly, I, I never ever do the puzzles for anything. I kind of just PvP constantly. Oh, oh there's a keeper cycling. Okay. Like geared, geared. All right. Oh, I see him. He's running. Yeah, yeah. Hit him. Oh train? no way! His friend's pulling up in a train, dude. He's making a getaway. No way that he got. He actually got in. Oh, oh fuck, fuck, fuck! There's two kids on horses pulling up. Um, M39. Oh, they have guns. They have guns, dude. Oh. Are you good? No, no, no. I'm getting. Oh, they're yeah, they're both on you. They're both on you. Hit one really hard, but I'm dead to the M39. Damn, uh, this is lame. They have they have guns already. Should I come over with the SAR? I can kill these guys. Maybe. You know what? I can't come with the SAR because we don't have a tier two to craft ammo. Uh, yeah, they got an M39 from their drop, and they're just like, let's run with it. We thought that we were ahead of the game by finding a SAR, but these guys clearly found an early airdrop and were running around with an M39. Luckily, Naz was able to escape, and on his way out. He grabbed a blue card there at the satellite dish. We then met up and both headed straight to airfield to get a red card for oil rig in the future. Uh, Lily gave you a kiss on the fort. Guy oh, there? fuck! That <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Dude, that is a tragic day for you. Oh, he's kind of stacked. <laughs> Why you gotta shit talk everybody? <laughs> <laughs> my bad, bro. All right, I'm in.
Nice. 20 HQM. All right, we got we got cards home. That's huge. Look, yeah. With all key cards obtained, oil rig was now possible, but we didn't want to do it just yet. We first wanted to try our original idea of finding an underwater labs and farming that for our components. So with our extra stone, I made a boat base to house a two-man submarine. We then started our journey towards the fishing village we saw at the beginning of the wipe discovering new locations on the way there. First, we found the desert military base tucked away near the closest mountain. The main attraction to this monument, which was the MLRS rocket system, was useless, since the map you need to aim and use it was disabled. But our visit here was still rewarded. I just got a supply signal. No fucking way. W. After depoting that supply signal, we continued our journey to the fishing village, passing over the mountain this time, where we saw dozens of nodes. This would be where we'd farm all of the stone, metal, and sulfur we needed throughout the white. We then got to the fishing village with no issues and bought the submarine. It was time to begin our search. All right, you think this is far enough out? Um, yeah. I think I gotta like go up often to just make sure that I'm going I'm following the right path. Yeah, yeah. This is a decent distance away. I think I want to get a little bit closer. Okay, and then just yeah. go straight this way. That's a not a lab. Don't freak out. Wait, there's another fishing village between the lighthouses right here, close to our base. Oh, really? Look at this shit, dude. That's so close. Kind of got the glitch there for a sec. Yeah, I saw somebody on YouTube do this, and it works to find the labs. This is a way better angle. Like, I think we can genuinely find it if we do it like this. Also, these things aren't rendering in. So I'm, like, worried that maybe the labs aren't going to render in. The labs with the same way. Wait, what was that? No! -uh! Ness! What? No! -uh! Did you find it? Are you fucking with me right no, now? No, no, I'm not fucking with you, bro. Hold up. Let's go! Let's fucking go, dude. Oh, it kind of looks like a small one. No, that that's a big one. That's a big one, bro. Yeah, that's pretty solid, I think. That's pretty solid, dude. We found one of the underwater labs, what we were hoping to be our secret way of getting a ton of components. The lab wasn't too far from our base, so we quickly grabbed the supply signal I found and then headed straight back to call it in there uncontested. Unfortunately though, upon exploring the inside, there wasn't a lot of places for crates to spawn or even a high tier loot room to use our red key card on. This just wasn't worth our time. Maybe if we lived in a more component desolate area, we'd consider looking for a larger lab. But because we lived right next to large oil rig, our priority became running that instead. So we looted the airdrop, getting a jackhammer, an SMG, and another SAR. With the scrap we did get, we made it here to workbench and researched med. Because custom isn't a great gun, and because we already had a SAR to research, we decided to roam with both of these guns we got from the airdrop. We were about to go and do large rig ourselves with these weapons, when we noticed that somebody else already started it. The timing couldn't have been better, so we headed over there to counter. All right. That's, That's a P2, Revo. Isn't it? That's a fucking Revo. <laughs> These guys are definitely primitive gear though. Like I wonder if we just both pop up on dock and if they're looking down we just fucking destroy them. Yeah, he's just they're Wait, they killed the a, they killed a, a, a scuba guy right above you. I just saw oh, him die. Did. Oh, they did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going for it right now. All right, good luck. Hit him twice. He's not really peeking where I can shoot him. Okay, I'm up. Ah, fuck! Dude, he's got like three Revos! I'm low, I got a med. He's hit twice. Okay. Three times, he's so super low. Dead, 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 dead. One at least. I think there's another one. He logged out as soon as you killed him. He's <laughs> loaded! Look at his inventory! Hold on, let me check, let me check. Oh! No wonder he insta-logged off, dude. Fuck. Oh, it just opened. 
Did it really? Perfect timing. Yeah. Ooh, eh. Ooh, That's pretty bad. Timing. I mean, Tommy, in the, uh, I guess. I mean, he dude, he was popping off with those revies, dude. It, I mean, he just kept pulling another one out and another I one know, out. I know. I was like not out, expecting dude. that at all. Like, I started yeah, full he... pushing because I was like, okay, he's out of ammo. And then he just started fucking railing me. I got a spear gun with 30 spears, dog. Hell yeah. This guy's got some juice right here. It was safe to say that our first oil rig run brought us the progression we were looking for. We got an extra set of key cards, tons of components, weapons, and a C4. With the scrap gained from this, I researched Sar and Thompson. Since the server was full pop now, oil rig respawned quickly, so we ran it up again. The loot from the scientists and the crates was about average, but the most notable thing we found was a Molotov. Raiding with these can be extremely lucrative, so we researched it right away. With all of the components we've been gaining from labs and the two oil rig runs, we did a massive recycle run, getting us plenty of scrap to tech tree to garage door and fortify our base. Progression was moving fast. The only slow thing so far was the PvP. It made sense, as we've been keeping to our area, making progress without needing to fight many players. But that was about to change. We were on our way to do some Molotov raiding when we noticed that the second cargo ship of the wipe spawned in. Yeah, yeah we can do a couple of raids with that. With wood single doors, it's so wait, cargo's coming out right now. I see it. Like at, at rig. This is perfect. Oh, shit. This is literally perfect. I'm grabbing low grade right now. Fuck whatever we were just talking about, dude. I don't Molotov even remember. Molotov raids, dude, and fucking fuck. Fuck that. a Molotov raid, bro. Here, you can drive. Dude, literally no one on this fucking universe knows that this is out yet. Nope, we're the first people for sure. Unless there's people on oil. Yeah, but even then, I don't think they had enough time to react. Dude, someone's Dude. already on. Small boat. Oh, no way. Oh, yeah, I see him. It's just revolver. P2, yeah, yeah. maybe. Oh, fuck. Dead. Yeah, this is scuffed. I'm alive still, by the way, but... That's How the fuck does someone get there that fast? <laughs> That's actually fucking That's crazy. That's not possible. That's actually fucking crazy. And you don't you don't want to try to fuck with that no more? I'm down. I'm done to try. Me Just too, trying to find your body. Honestly. I mean, if you can't find it, it's whatever. I mean, the only thing that you're going to recover on there is just meds and ammo. Yeah, that's true. I'm going to come get you. So cargo spawned right at our base location. We couldn't have been there any faster. The only way we could was if we were already out in the ocean at large rig, which was exactly what happened with the guys who were already there. It was the worst case scenario but we weren't going to get scared away that easily. I went back to base to pick up Naz, and then we headed back for round two. Just getting rolled. I'm gonna die. Oh my God, I'm, I'm dead. I don't know how they're hitting these shots. Oh, fuck. I'm going underwater straight away. I'm just hiding. Should I stay up front? Yeah, yeah. No. no way. No way. He's low. He's low as fuck. I'm up. One dead, one dead. Right. Another one dead, another one I, dead, two dead. I have to reload, I have to reload. All good, all good. And then I'm coming up. Yeah. Take your time. All dead, all dead, three dead. Is nice. there, one more? there might be one more. There might be one more. Yeah. There might be one more. I think I heard him towards the back, maybe. Good fucking job, Blue. I'm coming up right now. Okay, okay. Oh my god, they're loaded. That is tragic on their part, dude. That, that is, is tragic. fucking tragic. Oh, uh, where that kit? Oh yeah, I'm smart. I'm putting like bullshit in this. Dude, I just heard. Kill one. Kill another one. Kill another one. Oh uh, yeah, shit. I actually popped off. Come up here, I'll give you a SAR and we can like uh, split ammo. Or I can give you like a little bit less. Ooh, stone high wall, bro. Oh my god. <laughs> Should dude. I come down and see? Like, yeah, just come check this one out. Let's see. Uh, as this is ass, what are you talking about, bro? Bro, what? Um, not that good. Manifest that shit, bro, like them bitches on TikTok, bro. AK. Oh, oh. god. <laughs> Dude, come on, Blue.
That was supposed to be AK, man. The crates may have been pretty bad, but this early in the wipe especially, a cargo counter was a huge win. But when you're winning in Rust, it means someone else is losing. In this case, that someone was a player named Lily. He was in the group who we just stole cargo ship from, marking the beginning of our rivalry. With no other boats coming for the rest of the cargo take, we figured that the hard part was over. But Lily had other plans. People waiting at our base. I shot hit him. I'm dead. Ooh! I'm hold I'm hi I'm hiding. Try and get try and get our shit. Yep, yep. I'm just trying to come out as soon as possible. One dead, one dead. Okay, I'm coming. There's one on the roof too. Hold on, if he peeks me again, I can headshot him. Missed him? He was I'm dead. He was door camping with DB. Okay. Uh, I have a bag outside. Ah, uh, fuck, I'm dead. There was another naked pushing up. You're, you're by yourself, honestly, bro. Headshot hit him twice and he's behind a fucking rock now. Fuck, I'm just getting I'm on beamed. the way right now. I had to use my wall. Back here, though. I'm trying to give you some calls. One dead. Oh, they're pushing you hard. They're pushing you hard. I'm dead. Oh, fuck. Mm. They're looting my body right now. Um, it's only two. Yeah, peek. Yo, one. Full dead, full dead, full dead. One's at the wall. Okay. I'm going to flank out wide. Headshot him, headshot him. Nice, nice, nice. Headshot, hit twice. He's one HP. I'm, I'm, I'm going to die. I'm going to die. He's one HP. Missing him. Dead, dead. Nice. Well played. Yeah, I'm covering. Loot your body. Good fucking job holding that shit down, dude. I tried as long as I could. Hey, you held it for the perfect amount of time I was able to get back and then... Yeah, huge. Lily. Oh, it's them, dude. Of course it is. We need to find out where these motherfuckers live, dude. I'm willing to wager it's the base up the hill. I feel like we would have encountered them before, though. So somehow, Lily and his group knew where we lived. This only meant one thing. We must have fought them before and they must live close by. We looked far and wide in our area. Every base we found was either too small, offline, or active, but with players that weren't in Lily's group. We didn't have enough leads yet to confidently pinpoint where they lived. So we gave up on the search for now and headed to some gunshots on the top of a mountain near outpost. Oh, full, yeah, he's full metal right on me. There's another one in the distance. He's right here, right below you. Yeah, I got I a med. You. Headshot, hit, hit, headshot, dead. That's gotta be the rest of their team at that huge fight. Dead. Jesus, man, I haven't even fucking seen anyone. Let me get some kills, bro. Lily. Oh, there's bodies everywhere. Cam, Cam! Right, so it's him, Lily, Pumpkin, and Julio, yep. This is for sure them, dude. Where the fuck do they live? I would assume it's that base right there, dog. Yeah, when I was coming up this mountain, I heard it active. Dude, if we don't find Lily, they're gonna fucking offline us, man. Mm -hmm. For sure, I think this is them. Oh, they're in the base right now. I wanna let these kids kill me, bro, just to get their fucking name. Come on, dude, come outside. I just wanna see what your fucking name is, dude. <laughs> I don't know. Is it them? I don't know. <sighs> They're not trying to come outside if it is them. He has a gun, times. I think. Oh, uh, water pipe. Oh, it's Julio. Yo, man, talk, Yo, to, man, me, dude. talk to me, dude. Hello? So if you guys remember Naz at all and why you asked for him to be in another video, it's because of his personality and linguistics. Naz has a way of persuading people. And so he was going to try and work some of that magic on Julio, one of the members of Lily's group. Fuck, I, <laughs> I'm supposed to be the roleplay expert, bro. Listen, dog, Um, we're about to get off the server, honestly, dude. If you want some shit, I got a full inventory. Uh, if you take us to your base, I'll give it to you. Wait, that's actually good. Okay, I mean, if you just take us, 
wherever we'll drop it off i got a full inventory he has a full inventory we just raided a base no way that so, works uh, right <laughs> imagine like yo can you like open the door so that we can like get in there and kill in console oh my god imagine dude oh is it not this base right here i thought this was all you guys oh dude why'd you have to say that that's just gonna be hella sus just say like i hope it isn't too far we really gotta go I hope it isn't too far, bro. We really gotta go, like, right now. Come on, dude. That'll sell it. <laughs> he might be leading us into his team. Watch out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, guys, I got him on the ropes right now. Oh, I see him. Gear kid. Right here. In, right here. Right on the other side of this wall. Right here. Where I'm looking. Headshot. Hit him twice. Just past 12. It's Lily. There's another, there's another hazmat. Another hazmat at that water catcher. Yeah. He's in the, uh, he's behind that building. I knew they were gonna try to ambush us. He's right here. Double headshot dead. Right, so so where the right fuck here. do they live, Blue? It's Cam, it's them. What dude. the fuck? Dude, they, they gotta live this way. Like, they have to live on this side they of the river. They have to live over here somewhere, dude. They 100% live this direction. Because that's right. where he was You're leading right. us. That's where the hazmat was coming from. That was a good idea, right. though. <laughs> that was a good idea. I tried, bro. He just, man, leave some, leave some kills for me, man. I'm I'm not even like running up to the fight by the time they're all dead. I want them bad, Blue. I fucking want them bad. Active furnaces in this 2x2, two two, dude. I think we should raid this next. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So, Julio led us to a failed ambush by Lily and Cam instead of his base. But what he did confirm was that he didn't live in this base up on the hill. They had to live somewhere in the direction towards Outpost just based off of where the ambush took place. This eventually led us to the active 2x2 that was literally visible from our base. The odds that they lived right here the whole time, never seeing them run in or out of it, was highly unlikely. But it was worth raiding either way to put our mind at ease, and also because of how close it was to our base. The only explosive we had access to at the moment was satchel charges, so I researched and crafted 12 of those for the raid. But before we could get that raid underway, cargo ships spawned in again. Seeing how well our last cargo went, we couldn't resist running it up one more time. I see a guy in the center. There's a guy in the top as well. Up top. All right, get ready. Yep. Oh, I got pushed. Right there, that's you. Multi. Oh, you no, didn't get it? No it way. Didn't let me up. It didn't let me up, dude. Fuck, man. I would I would have pressed D, e, but I know that when you when you try and mount with someone on it, it knocks you off. We can do this. We can do this. Oh, it's man. one tap from a fucking bolty, but we can do this. Okay, well now I'm behind you, so you can try and get on first. If you miss it, I'll get on. I'm on. Okay. One double dead. I just got shot by bolty. In the middle. Kill him, kill him, full dead. Nice. One more, one more. Oh, I think he was at the front. Oh! I think there's oh. one more, be careful. I'm, I'm still not up there yet. I'm coming. Take your time, bro. <laughs> I do it again. No fucking I way you just again. did that again, Blue. Without me oh again, God, dude. Come morning. on. <laughs> you're making me look like I'm dog shit, bro. In front of your viewers. No, Stop man. You're, you're clutching up in every other situation. Holy shit. I guess you're just shit. the cargo champion, bro. I'm here now. Dude, the Sorry. last guy didn't shoot me. He, he just stopped shooting me because he thought it was his teammate. I got AK. Dude, the the, the Bolty kid was just only shooting at me. What did I do to that kid, bro? Like, I got C4 off of this body. Nice. I'm full inventory, bro. I don't even have room. There's no way. There's no way. That's fucking crazy. Oh my god. Dude, look at the rim! They just did oil! Oh my god. Oh my god, bro. No way they just allowed you to do that, dude. I cannot believe it. I'm fucking... I, dude, I, dude. Oh my god, holy nasty. I literally don't believe it for this last one, right? Nice, that's huge. We're gonna park this all the way over at the at the military desert base, and then we're gonna run up from there. Okay, I'm gonna park this thing right here.
Another three versus one at cargo ship. Like Naz said, I guess I was just the cargo champion. This run was way better though. On top of a full rib of oil rig loots, we now have AKs. Progression was going very smoothly, but now it was time for the raid. I grabbed the C4 from cargo and all of the satchels we had, and we headed to the 2x2. Dude, are you kidding me? Oh my fuck. We gotta see what it is. It's yeah, broke. I some molly. Well, let me... Go ahead. Well, that Ow. doesn't work at all. Okay. We're gonna have to shoot it. Broke. Okay, Facing the door. That door. Yeah. Guy just literally oh. ran up just now. Yes. Oh, look at TC. Oh my god. Blue, what the Ooh. fuck? They're actually loaded. Ooh, rocket launcher. That is so big. Here, help me. Rocket launcher. Help me loot huge. this. Help me loot this. God, bro. All these pumpies, too. Rocket launcher is super good. Um, High qual is pretty good. Sulfur wasn't bad. I mean, 2, 2k sulfur. The raid went well. We didn't get a lot of sulfur back, but we got tons of high quality metal, a rocket launcher, and a ton of other guns. Plus, this 2x2 would make for a great flank base in case we ever started getting online raided. But this raid wasn't over yet, because this base didn't belong to Lily. So if there was anybody on this server who would try and counter, who do you think that would be? I'm gonna go out there with DB. Okay. Or uh, maybe Pumpy. Oh, yeah, that's what I was worried about. I'm gonna try and loot this body. Wait, is that you jumping on the hill? I'm dead, I'm dead. He's down. He's down. I'm deep going right now, and I'll head back out. Uh, Lily, bro, it's fucking Lily. Dude, where do these bastards live, bro? Um, yeah. Dead. Please be them. It's Cam. It's fucking Cam, dude. Uh, yeah, dude. Like this is this is starting to piss me off. Not knowing. Lily and his group came to counter the raid. Like usual, they weren't successful. But even though we're winning all of these fights, it's having the thorn in our side and not knowing how to get rid of it that was getting on our nerves. Finding where Lily lived was our number one priority. But after we got a taste, we had a bloodlust for raiding. And because we still had no idea where Lily lived, we did a couple of Molotov raids instead. No, I don't, but I just killed a full kit. We're gonna get raided, man. Yeah, I'm glad I'm bringing the Jackie so we can get uh, stone for the base upgrades. I want to try and get the compound down before we log off tonight. Mm -hmm. Probably not gonna do outer peaks. I'm just gonna get like, I'm gonna get the inner peaks done and then the compound, yeah. Was that wood? Yeah. I just killed that guy over there. I don't know what he had. He had a gun. Oh yeah, pump. Wait, it's all open. We left the sheet door open. Is there anything good in there? There's some decent stuff, yeah. I'm putting on a new door. I got 500 scrap and a large furnace from that base, so that was kind of oh, worth. Wow. That was 100% worth it. How many mollies do you have? Three more, and I used two. Holy! This is the base we raid. Come over here. Dude, they got a shoddy trap. Oh my god. I'm on the way. Are you good? Getting pushed. One dead. He's dead. Fuck, that hurts. Does that have ammo in it? Like. I don't think so. Oh, the door's open. 
completion oh, ass. Check that. Check that, bro. Why is that better than the first raid that we What's did? What's the fuck? That's actually fucking good. It was after this Molotov raid that we decided we had enough materials to start expanding our base. It was getting late into the night, so I wanted to make sure that we had a strong enough base to deter offline raiders before logging off. Okay, I'm gonna start these outers. Alright, the TCs are down. I'm gonna start um, inner peaks. Oh! Oh. I tried him. Dead. Fucking sneaky bitch. Oh! It's Cam. It's fucking Cam. Bruh. Okay. Oh my god, this guy's still fucking here. I killed him. Lily. I couldn't have guessed. Dude, these guys are loaded, by the way, real quick. Like, Cam just came back. DB, four meds, two ladders, and 16 buckshot. Clearly, upgrading the base was necessary because our biggest rivals, Lily and Cam, were door camping us the whole time. We weren't sure if their intentions were to offline us or not, but we wanted to be prepared. Midway through upgrading, we decided to go on a massive recycle run, utilizing Outpost's numerous recyclers so we could finish faster. This got us enough scrap to make a tier 3 workbench, as well as plenty extra for researching supplies. It was right after this recycle run that we heard Heli. It's coming! Hit it! Nice, you got it, you got it, you got it, you got it. Oh, this naked just snuck up on me, I didn't even see him. Oh, what's up, Cam? Why don't you guys come with some gear, dude? We just took Ellie, man. <laughs> oh, dude. Spaz, are you kidding me? No, uh you got a Spaz 12. I think this one yeah. right here is open. M249, baby. Oh, I haven't used the M249 since the new update. I haven't really much either. Rocket C4, I'm running home. Oh, wow, yeah, yeah, go home. Cool it down, let's check it out. Bro, one MLRS rocket. No, no, dude. no, no, no. What no. the fuck? You got scammed, dude. Dude, I'm so glad we took that though. Rockets, fuck yeah. We yeah. don't need a tech tree. We, we have everything we need. We got a C4 rocket crate from Heli. Exactly what we needed. So to close out the nights, I used most of our scrap to research a bunch of high tier equipment, including everything we needed to rocket raid. I then added one more floor to the base and a compound before hopping off for the night. As long as we didn't get offline, tomorrow was going to be a day filled with nothing but PvP and raiding. Day two, and we are still good. Holy shit. This is a game changer. We actually survived the night. Surprisingly, we didn't get offline, which means today was going to involve some raiding. As I was laying in bed to go to sleep last night, I was thinking about where Lily could possibly live. He's been evading us for far too long. It was time to work with what we had and try and discover some leads. So after really looking into footage before hopping on for day two, I had a theory. Okay, so let's review, right? We come from cargo and we get jumped. They're all there at our base and one pushes me, Lily. I kill him right here. 
and basically while i'm fighting these guys the whole time i'm seeing nakeds come from that two by two up there on that hill and come down but that can easily just be like outer bags um so i'm not gonna count anything based on where a naked's coming from i'm gonna count where geared players are coming from and one of them flanked me like literally where that palm tree is with revo and pump he wasn't like there he was like there so oh, shit. so you're telling me that if they lived that direction he ran all the way around and i didn't see him and he came directly behind me no way no way right and, and, it, and it was lily and it was lily the guy i killed at the rib so he literally had to respawn at a base and flank me with weapons yeah that's smart actually then for sure it's not possible that they live over there on the right side oh what was that that's a c4? c4 yeah yeah oh you heard that yeah, that was a fucking bean can i think they're doing a scuffed raid they definitely <laughs> there are there goes a satchel oh i think i see the base they got raided i do i do it's up on top of the hill. It's on the hill there. Yeah, I hear that. Yeah, I see it. No door yet. Um, yeah, they just didn't have enough. Oh, killed him. Oh my god, I highlighted this fucking kid, dude. <laughs> it's Lily! It's Lily! Dead? No, uh. I, don't know I guess this kid's with him. Sleepy? Sleepy got aim? Is that is that kid with Lily? I've never seen his name. Never before. seen it either. I don't think. But he was right next to where Lily was. Dude, what the fuck? That's Lily, bro. He's all the way out here. What? This base on the shore right here. I thought it was them yesterday, and it looks like it's expanded as well. Them living right there, I believe. Uh huh. Me too. I'm gonna full crouch up on this. Yeah, active. He might come out. Dead? I'm checking name. Tell me that's Lily. It's Lily! It's Lily! Oh! We found it. We fucking found it, dude. Oh my god. It's fucking Lily, dude. 120 strap. Don't let him close door. Let's get out of here. We're coming back with, with explosives. We're coming back with explosives right now, right? Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Okay, boom. Wait, uh, uh, I have low grade. Let's take the sub. Yep. Oh my god. Oh, damn, let's fucking go! No Blue, way, them. finally! Let's go! All right, you're good to go. Oh, shit. We're gonna fuck their base up, Yeah, dude. we are. Finally, we found Lily. His base was located way farther than we thought, which is why he was able to stay hidden for so long. But now that he knew that we were onto him, he met us back at our base to chat. Oh, is that Lily? Oh, it is! It's Lily! <laughs> oh shit! Yo, I thought you said you did. I thought you said you online. Which one of you said you online? What do you mean? I mean, last night you said you online, but you're offline raiding a, a solo player on the hill. Uh, that wasn't uh, us. That's that some other us. group That's... over there. We came to counter. That wasn't all you. All we do is online, bro. Yeah, all we do is online. That is such a lie. <laughs> He's about to find out. <laughs> He's about to find out what we do. <laughs> right, well then, why don't we? Why don't we make a time? Just say like, like, just be ready all day. Man, just be ready all day, bro. Just be, ready, just be all ready all day. That shit could come at any second. I can't play rest all day. I have like, responsibilities I have to go do. And have to be... Well, that's tough, dude. Why is he playing rest? <laughs> dude, that's tragic, bro. You shouldn't be playing rust then. Well, obviously, I, I don't play rust 24 hours a day like you. Dude, trust me, I'll think about it when I go to sleep tonight. With all of your people in my base. Oh, damn. <laughs> wow, an offline. Nice. Like, bro, you, you think people actually care? Like, this is a fucking video game. Dude, why, why is he, is he so, so mad? mad? We haven't even raided him yet. The only difference. What did he just say? His mic is so bad, it just keeps cutting out. I can't hear anything. Dude, he's talking about playing Rust 24 hours a day, and that's the only difference between us and him. You know, the only difference between me and you, dude, is I got bitches, bro. <laughs> Yo, I play Rust 23 hours a day, and I'm with bitches one hour of the day, bro. That's one hour more than you. Dude, <laughs> you shut up real quick. Dude, if I go over there and raid him and he's, and he's sleeping, I'm actually, like, I'm oh quitting Rust. God. I'm, I'm, I'm literally so quitting upset. Rust. After that chat, it was clear Lily didn't have the whole day to be online. But this didn't matter. 
We already both decided to raid him as soon as our explosives were done crafting, which was literally going to be in about 15 minutes. We didn't tell him this because you should never show your hand in Rust. If we gave him a warning like that, he could easily call his boys on and set up an ambush or transfer loot before we even arrived. It had to be an organic online raid. So we figured with us finding his base 10 minutes ago, he'd stay online for a while just as a precaution. So with everything crafted and ready to go, we headed over to take out Lily once and for all. Fuck it, I say we just start booming. Really? Did this motherfucker log off? If he did, he fucking deserves it, man. Yep. Oh, look, here he is. Okay. Yo, you better come back, Yo, Lily. Come back, Lily. <laughs> I'm gonna rock at him. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Come on. No fucking way. Why are you AFK? We, you know we're gonna raid you. Ooh, armor door. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Yeah, just keep pounding that shit with rockets. No, he's in there. Oh, yeah. I might have killed him, I might have killed him. Yeah, I killed him. Door open. Uh, Alright, huge. Oh, the loot's pretty good. Yeah, it seems that way. Pumpkin and Cam. Dude, they have three GLs. Alright, let's see what we got. Pretty decent amount of comps. Empty that top box. Uh, I mean, it's not bad. Worth it to raid, honestly. Oh, 100% worth it just to get them off the server. I'm out of rockets completely. We brought just enough and then we have the C4. Uh, we, we got two C4s, seven satchels, uh, 16 HEs. Oh, and there's more in this other HE as well. They had so many fucking HE grenades, holy shit. So the raid was a success. Despite our taunts, Lily was AFK when we started it, and by the time he was back to defend, the raid was already over. But even if he was ready to fight from the beginning, we still would have isolated him in the core, and the results would have been the same. There wasn't an absurd amount of loot, but it was enough for me to buy a rib at the fishing village close by and use the storage on it to make a couple of transfer runs. This was a satisfying raid, but I wouldn't classify it as a revenge raid. Sure, Lily and his group door camped us a few times, but we always ended up winning those fights. They were a pest we squashed, but honestly, we were almost as happy to have them around for the PvP as we were to finally get rid of them. Obviously, this wasn't going to be the conclusion to our wipe. We wanted to end with something greater, a bigger base that was online with more defendability. The good news was we didn't have any enemies left, so the first base we saw that was online would become our target. Oh shit. What's up? You see that? Go back, bro. The role players expanded their shit, bro. Look how dope their fucking base looks now. Nah, uh, they have fucking China walls and everything. What? I might be down just to raid them, honestly. Is that the same base? Yeah, bro. That shit looks fucking dope. Dude, they are fucking stacked. Yeah, yeah. I think, I think we do just raid them, man. And yeah, they're in there. I hear them. This will be a very good base to raid. Yeah, for sure. He's on roof. He's dead. This was the base we saw yesterday while on our search for Lily. They've expanded quite a lot since the last time we saw them, so much so that it was hardly recognizable. It checked off both boxes. It was online and big enough for them to put up a decent defense. We were going to go all out with a raid base and all of the rockets we could possibly craft. So we got to work. Okay. Uh, do you want to use M2 or do you want me to use M2? Go for it. Do you want to hold in raid base? Uh, I mean, I can, yeah. Well, I just rock it and like pummel from the outside. Sounds good to me. Okay, I made an I'm making another 10 rockets with all that GP we had. 
Okay. Let's fucking do this, dude. Oh, shit. Yeah, fuck me. You want to go ahead and start building? Yeah. Excuse yeah. me. Where do you want me to put the bed? Upstairs or? Um, downstairs works. Yeah, roof's dead. Yeah, hazmat up the hill behind us. Hit him three or four times. Pushing up. I'm gonna start blowing in. Pumpy behind? It's not at me, but... It's just one guy in there, like... Unless there's two. No, and they're both just two. fucking around. Oh, one. Let's open a little bit. I'm gonna push in. Do you have ladders? Yeah, I do. Can you see me I'm at gonna all? I'm gonna put M2 up and I'm gonna come out. Okay. With ladders. Killed one. Kill the gear on me. They're just sitting in here armoring. I just got okay. 3 kgp. I'm just gonna come deep with this GP real quick. I hear him opening gate. He's coming in. I'm gonna go depot the uh, GP. I'm dead. Fuck. Shit. Oh my god. What? Oh fuck. I, kill, I killed him, there's I killed like him. Four, there's like four kids behind him. the ray base. I killed two. I'm just is that, is that them shooting back. AK? Oh, I'm dead. Oh, that was you. I had no idea. Yeah. That, I thought they were outside the raid base. Yeah, I, I, I killed I killed two or three, but... Okay, I gotta, I, come, I, I gotta come pick you up now. Yeah, I'm on timer. This is very bad. Oh, the boar killed me. No. uh Yeah. Watch out, there's so many bodies over there. Um, I'm 70 seconds on timer. I mean, I gotta go hold the raid. This is scuffed. Yeah. I depoted all the AKs and shit. Okay. They left so many doors open. How much boom do we have? Uh, plenty, plenty to raid. I just, I just gotta focus for a sec. I'm getting pushed. Man, this is so AIDS! Trying to do 6,000 things at once! Fuck me! And Heli's here too now. Yeah. Already, this raid wasn't off to a good start. Naz and I got killed quickly, and counter raiders were already camping the raid base. On top of it, we got griefed by a pig, and now Heli was outside complicating things further. It seemed like at this moment, the entire server was against us. I think I killed him. Yeah, I did. I yeah. did. We gotta move. We gotta try and get up there if you can. Oh, but we can't because of heli. Very bad timing. Extremely bad timing. Someone looted my body, but I think he's in the compound. Wait, I think I got it. Yeah, I got my body. Killed a uh, SAR. I can't even leave the fucking raid base because this kid is just sitting out here with the fucking SAR in the bushes. Yeah, it really sucks. I, I just need to make sure that these guys can't seal, you know? Like, I can't really leave this position. Oh, uh, shit. Dead on the left side again. I'm gonna die to grenade. Oh my god! I'm dead! Where the fuck oh, was he? I'm taking all these DBs. Killed him trying to seal? Or did I? I don't know, but he's trying to seal. He just tried to place wood. Um, I'm gonna go back over there. Before fucking door cameras. I'm dead. Tons. Yeah, I knew that was gonna bitch. happen. Try and, uh, he's not in the front door if you wanna try and close it. Looted all your stuff. Looted all of it. 
He's getting nail gun though. Maybe you can peek. Killed him. Killed one. He had fucking spaz. Holy shit. He's, no, trying, to, he's trying to steal you. I'm shooting. He's on the right side. I don't know if you can heal. I have to heal. I have to heal real quick. Dead. Okay. Naked's oh, over, all over the raid base. I can't see them. There's so many people, bro. You have no idea. Holy fucking shit. I don't know. I got hella meds. I should really bring this back real quick. Is there no one on your way up? Nope. I put all the extra meds and shit that I had. Okay, sweet. Yeah, you go out first again, and then I'll f I'll follow right behind. All right, with with uh, rockets. Yep. Okay. I think that's where we need to blow. Yeah. Okay, stay back. Yeah. Okay, that garage was broke, but I gotta peek it. Do you want to take rockets for a sec? Um, I'm gonna depot them in this box right here, and I'm gonna peek this. Okay. Dead. There's a flamethrower though. I'm dead. Uh, the flamethrower is very far away. Let me see if I can respawn and run back real quick. Oh, it's like closed down here. He opened again? Dead? Yeah, yeah, you can evade it. Uh, drop, drop me, um, drop me rocket. Okay, that hurts, but it's doable. Do you have any weapon I can spray at a flame turret? Two shots in a GL. All right, that's good enough for me, I think. Look at all these he, just, he has an entrance there. That is so strange. Come on, come on. You know you can't handle all this. Okay, I found a bunch of F1s. If you open that again, it's GGs. I know where TC is, but I don't have enough right now. Oh fuck. Okay. Um what do you need? I need to stop dying to this fucking flame turret, that's what I need. Oh my god, I created fire. Hold on. I'm dead. Oh no way. I'm up here. Right now. Okay. I'm dead dude, Pumpy. He's now He's dead. I'm on the way back right now. Uh, yeah, I think it's GG's to be honest. I'm dead. Oh fuck, man! I killed everybody though. The loot's not—it's not looted. It's not looted. I, I died though to the fucking flame turret. Oh, they sealed it. They just—they just put a sheet metal wall right here. Uh. Oh yeah, wow. They griefed it. They're just placing bags for each other in there. Like even though it's a hardcore server, these fuckers had endless respawns to just respawn outside. Like I can't believe it. Yeah, it's wild, bro. Did it, honestly, this this whole thing would have went off without a hitch if it wasn't for the 7,000 SAR kids just sitting in the woods shooting at me. Yeah, for real. Definitely fucked it. Yeah. By griefing the breach with a sheet metal wall, they blocked their access to the second floor, but also put our efforts to win this raid to an end. We weren't going to have enough rockets anyways, but of course, losing a raid doesn't feel good. So Naz and I grabbed what little we did make back in the raid base, and we both took our leave back to main base. But I wasn't ready to quit just yet. I respawned over there again and grabbed a DB, just to give him hell, one last time. There's enough sulfur in here. There's just no way. Is there any boom in here at all? If I had the 3000 GP in here and I didn't depot it back to the base, we genuinely, I genuinely might have been able to make enough to break this window. Ooh. 
<laughs> Kill him again. As long as I keep this armored slit open. Yeah. yeah I have plenty to break a, a sheet the metal she, door. Yeah, the sheet metal door is off. I mean, it's yeah. it's closed now. Yeah, I have plenty to break. Nope. Kill him again. Yeah. Slit open still. No way. No way. No way I lose like that after all of that, dude. There's no way. I can't believe how unlucky that is. Oh my god! I fucking hate slugs so much! That was officially my last chance. I wasn't expecting to get that far in the first place, but being just a few rockets away from winning a raid twice in a row was a big punch in the gut. So much so that Naz and I felt like we were done for the wipe. We now had a reason to try and raid these guys back, but we were completely out of explosives and motivation to farm. Plus, these guys were honestly very poor. For their base being the size it was, we were expecting a lot more loot. Knowing that there was almost no profit to gain, farming the entire night to raid them again seemed pointless. So after that failed, desperate attempt, we both hopped off for the night. So here's another amazing trait of Holy Naz Moly, dedication. Naz woke up the following morning and decided that wasn't a worthy ending. So he farmed a lot. All I had to do when I woke up the following morning was craft explosives with the sulfur he got for us. What we had now was probably enough to win the raid this time, especially since we now knew the layout perfectly and the cheapest way into the core. But when we headed over there, the base was dead quiet. We wanted it to be an online raid again. Otherwise, how could we really claim victory? So we went around our area searching for cheap online raids to warm us up and give our true targets time to get online. You see this base down here I was talking about that? Got a large furnace base too. Oh shit, yeah. This guy's on his roof to the right. Oh. Watch out hit. I dead. think he just signed his death warrant, bro. You might be right, dude. Oh, he's still up there. These guys, those guys are goobers, dude. Look, those yeah. guys are fucking as noob as it gets. Dead. Holy, he was right here. Killed him. So, oh, on the roof, on the roof. Would be a good raid. He's dead. Yo, ha ha. He just sent you a hack. Okay, I think for that first raid, we need no more than 10 and then the explo. So you want to grab explo? Oh, uh, sure. Kill him. He's full dead. One on the left. Ow, fuck. Dead. Triple hit. Shit. On the roof. There's three of these kids. Oh, there's four of these kids. Killed the other one. I'm, I'm fucking low. On the roof. I just grenaded them. There's like five of them actually. Dude. Yeah, yeah, this is a big team. This is gonna be a good raid. Okay, I'm rocketing, I'm rocketing. Oh, 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 he's dead. Dead, dead, dead. I'm gonna peek this. Another one, another one dead. This is a big team. Another one. Okay, it's more north. Okay, if you want to hit that with the rocket, it's ready. I gotta reload. I'm I'm, I'm zero bullets. Right. Uh, Tommy kid coming from outside. He's low. Okay, I'm, I'm rocketing this. Hold on, hold on. No, there's no one in there. I don't think. It's clear. Okay, expose TC. Okay, I got. It. It's broke. I'm crafting a. Oh, nice. Sealed? Watch roof, nice. watch roof. Yeah, I definitely heard some kid moving around up here. Yeah, yeah. Can you can you help me loot the TC so I can place a new one? Uh, Holy yeah. shit, dude, they're loaded. Yeah, there's a lot of fucking bags in here, dude. TC down. Making code lock. Alright, uh, I'm gonna seal the top. Dude, that was such a big team. What the hell? 
That yeah, dude, insane. I noticed whenever we just now pulled up, dude, because one, two, three, four, five, six, there were six bags. Yeah, wow. Here. Wow, that was insane. So this online raid was a success. It was the exact type of action we were looking for, and the loot wasn't even half bad for the price of four rockets. But the battle for these spoils wasn't over yet. I'm going out there. I have no idea where the Sark is that just killed him. Killed him? I'm super low, I'm running in. Oh, fuck. I had to run in, I I'm 1 HP. Are you dead? No, I'm alive. I killed Sar. Oh! I'm alive, there's two on me. One dead. Okay, Both I'm dead. Dying. Holy fucking PvP, dude. Yeah. Okay, look, check this out. Um, I'm gonna depot in there too, if you don't mind me. Yeah, I bet. That's just from counter raiders in two seconds, dude. Holy shit, bro. <laughs> That's just about wrapped up the raid. With the sulfur gained, I crafted up more rockets, and then we heard heli. This was the chance to get even more explosives for the final raid, so our plan was to take it down. However, another group on the other side of the mountain downed it instead. So we took the fight straight to them. Dude, their base sucks. It still hasn't rendered in. It's right here. Oh, what the fuck? Roof's open. He's up. Dead. There's another one. Be careful. There's two more. One more. At least. Tell me if he peeks. Dead. Oh yeah, there's a full metal dead body down there. Kill them. Door open. Boxes. Uh, I got a satchel. Yep. AK, I got an AK. Oh nice, yeah, there's a bunch of shit in there. I have ladders, I wanna go down there and loot that. I'm dropping my extra guns and shit up here. I'm gonna drop down. This is such a worth raid. Seriously. Kill them again. No, it's just two more doors. Oh fuck, 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 there's a kid on me. There's, there's three. I'm dead. One dead. Killed, killed, killed. Oh, all, all dead, all dead, all dead. Are you down? Okay. I'm dead. Full dead. I'm, I'm coming back. The closest bag I have is at the raid we just did, so uh, I mean, it's going to be a little bit. Pulling up right now. Um, Double them, dead. Oh, there's one coming to the front gate. Killed them. Them. Uh, good attachments, HP rocket, Ensign rocket, uh, C4 rockets. Huge. Do you think we can raid them right now? No, they close all their doors. You wanna go ahead? Yeah, I'm gonna start oh. the mini. Oh god! Fuck yeah, that's, that's gonna be a dope ass online raid. Yeah, dude, look at this. Jesus, check this, yo, check this out, check this out. Two rows of guns. <laughs> wow, fucking A. I, th I think we can do it right now. Yeah, let's go. I'm grabbing the rockets. Okay, jump. I'm headshot. All right. He's dead. You want to start blowing? Yeah, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go down to where their airlock is, which is right down here, and we're gonna 2C4. Right here, 2C4. Perfect, okay, wait, wait. I'm gonna, oh, careful. Explode. They're in there, they're in there. Wait, where's TC? TC not Kill them up top. I don't know where TC is, dude. It's upstairs. Blow upstairs. Blow, blow that. Blow this uh, double door Wait, up here. What? Blow the double door up it, there. It's not in here. It's upstairs. That's impossible. I was. I was everywhere. Oh. Wait. What is uh, this? That's nothing, that's nothing no, it's, dude. It's just a rug. Huh. 
That's not possible. I don't know where it could possibly be. Yeah, I mean, I figured it could have been like uh, some shit right here with the rug, you know. Oh, 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 right! Blue! What? No way. No way! No Dude. way! Dude! Nuh uh. <laughs> oh my god, no bro. You have authorization, man. Yo, that TC is pretty fucking cool, dude. This was another fun raid, but honestly, the loot we got from fighting them just before was more worth than the loot left over in the base. There may have been a ton of components, but all we really needed was explosives and resources to make them. When you reach that stage in Rust, it's fair to say that you won the wipe, but our triumph wasn't fulfilled just yet. We still had one last raid to do. At this point, we had finally killed enough time for our true enemy to log back on. We knew that the base wasn't going to have any profit, but we didn't care. After those two online raids, morale was back up. The only thing we wanted to do before hopping off was successfully conquer what we failed to raid yesterday. No raid base this go around, and no fumbling the bag. It was time for payback. Oh, 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 it's Build gone. Him. Nice. Oh, You'll make it outside. Okay, where now? Oh! Oh, I'm gonna die, man. Dead. Okay, do you have any meds? Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, that's what I can give you. That's that's fine. Killed him. I hit it with X. Okay, yeah, it's gone. gone. Okay, okay. All right. Now one rocket at, at this door. Let me do it. I'm run ro one rocketing. All right. One more rocket on that. Pass my. Okay. Dead. dead. Still one up there. Dead. Dead. I need. Okay, I'm gonna I need try meds. To get meds off this kid. Okay, I got one. Take the two. Dead. Nice. Watch out, I'll play for it. I don't, yeah, I don't yeah. know exactly. Uh, is TC um, open? Yeah, I'm gonna break it. I'm gonna toss the satchel. Okay. Uh, after you break that, after you break that, I'm gonna toss the satchel. Killed him? I already have I already have door code locked. Okay. I don't think we can seal because the outer TC is so. mm, oh, oh! Okay, TC's gone. TC's gone. Yeah, outers. Uh, okay. We should see how much the outers cost. I'm uh, give me the expo ammo and I'll look while you stay in here. We gotta be careful for counters. Oh, there's some counters outside. Ow! Ow! Fuck! 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 Where is he? Uh, on the roof. I'm one HP. Kill this guy. I'm literally one HP. Kill that guy. Okay, I'm, I'm I'm right here where you just killed that guy. Oh, there's another one outside. Fuck! I'm 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 gonna bleed out. I'm gonna bleed out. Did you kill him? Oh, the guy outside. No, I'm down. I'm down. I killed him. Yeah, but I'm down. I'm down right, right here. Yeah. Really? For some reason, he didn't kill me when he easily could have. See him up there. Hold on. There's another gear kid outside. Dead. Oh, are you LMG? No way, right? No, no, no. That was not me. That was not me. I see the connected outers. It's one garage door apiece. Just give me a second here. Alright, give me a sec, give me a sec. Going TC. Alright, that's one TC down. I need to go get the other one. Did 
Just get ready to spam place TC. I'll let you know. Yep. I think it's broke. Yeah, yeah. Place. Got it. Got it. Nice. And then seal. Yep. We got it. Let's fucking go, dude. Okay, so long story short, uh, we're gonna have to move where the TC is. Oh, shit. That's fine. That's fine. So. With the outer TCs destroyed and the base now under our building authorization, we were in control, but the defenders were still active upstairs. Once we cleared them out, along with all of their respawns, the raid would be officially over. Why are you guys cheating? Why are you guys cheating? Why are you guys cheating? It's kind of lame. It's kind of lame. <laughs> Look, come up here. Can you pick up? Can you pick up these windows? Yeah, yeah, come on. Maybe next time I'll get that one. Yeah, dude. Um, last time I checked, I'm in your main loot room, and you're not in your base anymore. You're homeless. So. Yeah. Hold on. Careful, careful, careful! Don't go that oh! way. Oh! I'm breaking beds. I'm pushing it. He's dead. <laughs> nice, good job, man. Oh, dude. So that sealed the deal. The last defender was eliminated, and all of the respawn points were destroyed. This base was officially ours, and so the raid was won. I couldn't think of a better way to end the wipe than with one of my most intense duo online raids in Rust. Overall, playing with Naz was a ton of fun, and hardcore mode wasn't bad either. There was a ton of great moments throughout the wipe. But without Naz, I wouldn't have gotten on for the third day, which turned out to be the best of them all. Thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video. So until next time, peace out.